But between summer vacation and the pandemic, many parents and teachers are worried about students falling behind. Yeah, it was tough last year. We know we got uh, Katie Lindendahl with us, consumer tech expert, joining us with some fun ideas to get your kids engaged in STEM learning. Good morning, Katie. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about ways to get them connected because it was really hard when you had the screen and them just staring at it. So is there anything augmented reality style or VR style that's out there? Yeah, let's start with a little augmented reality because AR is becoming a lot more mainstream and you're hearing it a lot more. And it's actually a really unique way to work in some fun teaching. So for any parent or teacher that's looking for a fun science project, I have to share this app. It is mind blowing. It is called Picture This Plant Identifier. And it's one of those apps that you're like, huh, this is absolutely incredible. Snap a photo of any leaf, any plant, any flower, any tree, and within seconds, the app actually scans and tell you what that plant is. Wow. So from what weather and season <laughs> is best for the plant or what birds and bugs the plant is going to attract. And also, this is great for adults, too. My niece and I were walking all around our neighborhood just scanning all different trees and leaves and all these different plants. People probably thought we were total weirdos, but it was awesome. And you learn so much wow. all with the touch of a button. Did you catch any Pokemons while you were out there doing that, by the way? Just kidding, Katie. Um, you're also an advocate for, you're also an advocate of music, helping kids level up in other areas. Why is music so important uh, when it comes to learning? And, and I'm assuming there's got to be a special type of music. Classical seems to really be uh, something that helps kids. Oh, yeah. Very interesting point. You know, in, I'm fascinated with the world of STEM, as we often talk about and often hear on air. Science, technology, engineering, and math, which is huge for kids. But I am so adamant about saying another M needs to be added to this for music. And the statistics, they do not lie. According to the Journal of Educational Psychology, highly engaged instrumental musical students are found to be an average of one year ahead of their peers in math, science, and English. So with that, I'm actually going to like pull behind the curtain and give you a sneak peek at what I use bestmusiccoach.com is the site that I go to. You can learn so many different instruments here from guitar to ukulele to music theory. And it is such That's a great go-to site. And not only do they have amazing teachers, but also interactive lessons with a new book that they just came out. It is an Amazon bestseller, 115 different audio and visual examples. So you can play along to your favorite songs. And again, this is what I use to learn guitar and music theory. And it is just so cool for parents parents to be able to put their kids into music lessons and get those brains yeah. sharp. Well, remember Guitar Hero is like a video game. All the kids were addicted. <laughs> so it's cool to make these real instruments a type of game because then they're really learning stuff. OK, uh, I got a kid with special needs. Uh, and, you know, I'm wondering, are there any kind of apps out there that make learning fun for those nonverbal students? Absolutely. And, you know, I have a lot of friends that are teachers in special development, and they have seen such amazing success with this app. And I have been following it for many years, and it just keeps getting better and better. It is called Prolo Quo To Go. And it is an app for nonverbal users of any age with autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, or anyone that just has speech difficulties. And what's incredible about this app is it has 25,000 built in photos or symbols, or you can even add your own photos. And all of this is is displayed in multiple grid sizes and a kids can able to touch and be able to communicate any photo that they they touch will actually showcase and sound out the word so pro lo quo to go awesome app for oh, special needs that's katie that was great, great yeah that's pro lo quo to go got it i'm trying to remember all these katie thank you so much for being with us consumer tech experts uh, we really appreciate all your tips all right coming up next 